Greetings class. Today I plan on telling you all a little bit about myself. For starters, the town I grew up in only has about 300 people living in it. It's a little town called Poen here in the natural state of Arkansas. There isn't much there. What there was was a little school and sports. Sports played a big role in my life growing up. All the boys at Poen were expected to play sports. My dad was always my biggest coach. He would always bring great wisdom about life through sports and the challenges I went through as an athlete. But the biggest challenge I had to face in sports was when I tore my ACL in ninth grade playing football. What I have here with me is the knee brace I wore from that point forward. When I look at this brace, I am reminded of the countless hours I spent working my ass off. I was not able to play my ninth grade baseball season due to still having to rehab my knee. Until my senior year, I continued to work my tail off and played great football and baseball. But during my senior year of football, during practice, I completely shredded my meniscus. We were on track to go to a championship game when this happened. It was the first round of the playoffs and I was stuck with yet another injury. I decided to hold off on injury precautions and to continue to play because I was not going to let my brothers fight without me. This was the greatest decision I ever made in my life. We fell short of the championship game in the semifinals by one point and one yard. I caused it a fumble when the opposing team was on the one yard line. We got the ball and drove all the way down to our one yard line in the last four minutes of the fourth quarter. We were unsuccessful at making a touchdown and lost the game. Even though we lost, I was not upset because by God's grace, I made it to that one yard line. College sports didn't happen for me after football and baseball, but I was not upset about that fact either. The lessons I learned were plenty enough to end that chapter in my life. Physical and most importantly, mental toughness still shape a big part of who I am. So this knee brace will forever remind me of that whenever I look at it. So my name is Anthony Nanneman. I'm a freshman at Henderson State University now which is also where my father attended and where he swam on the swim team. I'm still exploring my major and what I want to do in life. But for now, my major is business entrepreneurship. But sports has really made me think about coaching a lot. But I do not, I do not live on campus because I am working through school. Right now, I work at a catfish place called The Whippet, where I cook thousands of catfish fillets and I come home smelling like a hatchery. And I also work part-time with a landscaping company, mowing yards and things of that nature. I love to hunt fish because being outdoors makes me feel one with myself and the earth around me. Hunting brings out many ways to still challenge myself like sports did all those years. And I still work out and push myself in the gym, but for no other reason than to prove to myself that I could do it. I hope that all this makes you understand me a little bit more and where I come from. And thank you all for listening and God bless.